everyone shows you who they really are. Just give them time. You feel me? That means if someone is putting on a fake image, they can't keep it for long. Over time, they gonna end up showing the real selves. You feel me? Now this could be with friends, relationships, anything to be real. But one thing I did realize is I don't stress over it anymore. I don't force it anymore. I let people be them. And you'll be amazed when you take a step back, you will find all the answers you need. You will find the right ones for you and the ones that aren't for you. Let go of control and just observe. God will give you so many answers right away. And I'm not even lying. That's really how it is. And I'm proud of myself for that, for even letting go and just letting God take the wheel for real. Like, like how I said, bro, take a step back, observe, and you get everything you're looking for. What? What? Oh yeah, that's a lot of trash. Yeah, that's a lot of trash. I think they stopped uh, taking it out, like cleaning. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. I just met like the dopest person ever. And y'all just seen it right now, like, he just started saying something and we just had like a good conversation. And bro, it's crazy how I be clicking with people that like way older than me and it's just beautiful, bro. We were just talking about God and stuff like that and how things are working out for him and how his family's doing good. He's been praying and stuff like that. It's crazy, man. It really is. And I'm just grateful. I really am. And that's why I like recording stuff because y'all see stuff like this. Like, y'all just witnessed me meeting somebody new. I just met a new neighbor and that's fire. I love it, bro. Start to think more positive about yourself. Talk to yourself more highly. You know what I'm saying? Because realize that, bro, based off how you talk, you attract those things. If you talk bad about yourself, you talk negative, you attract negative things. If you talk good, you talk highly about yourself, very positive, you attract good things. And that is how it is. I said this before, but I used to be a very, very negative thinker. I used to talk bad about myself, about others. Overall, just negative. And my life was terrible. My life was downhill. And that's what I was attracting. I would think negative, so therefore I would make negative things happen. You feel me? But as I started to grow and evolve, things changed. I started to think more positive about myself and my surroundings. And that is when I found the good in life. Good things started to happen. I started to get more blessings and meet the new people that think like me. And that's really how it is, fam. All I'm saying is be careful how you think. Don't be so negative. Be more positive. Always be yourself no matter what. Do not portray an image to be in a crowd or to be in a relationship. You'd be amazed how many people put on a fake image just to be with somebody. It's crazy. But my input on it is if you have to pretend to be someone you're not, to be with somebody, that person's not for you. Truthfully, because they're not with you for you. They are with you for the image that you portray. Understand, bro, you do not want that energy around you. Because here's the thing. If you continue to put on an image, over time, you're going to end up losing yourself because you're no longer being yourself. You're being someone else that isn't you. You feel me? Keep that in mind, bro. This goes with friends, too. Do not try to be someone you're not to be with a group of friends. If they can't accept you for you, then it is what it is. Let them be. The right people will attract. But in order for that to happen, you must be yourself, not someone else. For real. When you're working for your goals and that's all you focused on, you are going to be looked at as crazy. You are. In the beginning, people are not going to understand why you're so dedicated to doing this and stuff like that until things start working out for you, until you become successful. And now you're a genius. Ain't that crazy? It's like they be so quick to knock you. And then once they see that you're doing good, everything just changes. And that is life, yo.
That's really how it is. No one is going to applaud for you. No one's going to celebrate you working for your goals until you accomplish them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I just felt the need to say that because I feel like there's someone out there that is struggling with this. They're working for their goals, but they're being looked at as crazy and they don't know how to handle it. You know what I'm saying? But my input on it is just to keep on going, fam. Don't, don't even focus on them. Focus on you. The focus should be on you anyway. For real, for real. Because yes, the people that are talking about you and stuff like that, they're not gonna understand. And it's not for them to understand because God doesn't want them to know. You feel me? Until you start accomplishing your goals. And then once that happens, that's when they come out. Oh yeah, I'm so proud of you, this, that. But in reality, they have no faith within you. And you know that, and that's what God do. God is gonna make your circle very, very clear. You know what I'm saying? Cause you gonna know who was around you, who was supporting you in the beginning.